What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, you guys know what that means. It's Mail Time Monday, stick around. All right, everybody, it's Mail Time Monday, and that means I'm gonna open up a bunch of packages I've gotten in the past week. And this week, it's gonna give you guys a good sneak preview into uh, other things I'm into collecting besides pops. Um, I've been purchasing a lot of different things lately. And one of those came from, uh, so I think somebody who's pretty much part of every single episode of Mail Time Monday. Uh, Gary and Madeline from my friends over We Gotta Have Our Pops. They are getting ready to move, so they're moving a bunch of stuff out of their house, getting rid of a bunch of things that, oh my dude. Ah, oh, he threw in an extra, love the guy. Um, but uh, he is getting rid of a bunch of stuff that he doesn't want to keep around anymore, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, damn, so I picked up one record off him and he sent me two. So this is uh, a wrong answer record from This Is Hardcore. But yeah, the Cross of Black Cast Path um, EP. It's a seven inch, man, this is so rad. What a good dude. This is a uh, limited pressing from This Is Hardcore. It's a festival that happens in Philadelphia every year. So that's pretty rad, very excited to get that. Thank you so much, Gary, for throwing that in. And uh, what I actually purchased from, oh, this is, so I should probably show you what the actual record looks like. It is on a uh, Coke bottle clear pressing. Pretty cool. Excited to be able to spin that one. I just bought a new uh, sound system and like set up for my record player since we're stuck at home for the next 30 days. I was like, well, I want to be able to listen to records and hang out and do all that. So pretty cool. The other record I bought, uh, some of you may recognize this. It is Under Soil and Dirt by a band called The Story So Far. This is the original pressing out of 300 and it is this really cool baby blue color. Look at that thing. So rad, very excited. I already have a couple copies of this record, but I did not have this color. So I said, hey Gary, since you don't want it, I want it. So he hooked me up, thank you so much. And thanks for throwing in the extra, man. I really appreciate it. I'm actually gonna take a pause and send him a text message to thank him because this has been sitting in my uh, living room for the past couple days. And every day he's like, yo man, did you open up that record yet? And now I know why, because he wanted me to see his little surprise. All right, next up is a pop. Um, so everybody's been getting these little white boxes in the mail and you guys I'm sure know what it means. It is a little sweet from Dr. Pepper, but the big question is, is, did it come fucked up? Because a lot of people have been coming pretty bad. So at first glance, things are actually looking pretty good. Not terrible at all. Let's slide this thing out and take a look here. Oh, this came out cool. It's crisp. It's nice. Oh yeah, no damage. Looks real good. So that is a little sweet. I'm sure you guys have seen 9 million videos of people opening up Lil Sweet. Um, I love Dr. Pepper, it's my favorite beverage. So it makes sense that I would grab that one. And as you know, I just recently got into doing ad icons. I guess they added in this little cardboard and that kind of solved all the problems. So pretty cool. Shit better next time, okay, Dr. Pepper. Uh, next up is a piece of clothing. So. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen me, if you followed my videos, you watched my videos for a while, you've seen me wear this brand before. It is a brand called Rucking Foughten, and um, I'll link them down in the description because they do such rad stuff. And uh, they basically make like, um, kind of like Japanese inspired movie posters for uh, horror films. And I mean, they do more than horror, but mostly it's horror stuff. And they did a, an official collab with a company, oh man, it came with a really sweet sticker. But they did an official collab with a um, movie that was like one of my favorite horror movies of all time. So it comes with this cool little thank you card, their logo on the back, and then this really rad sticker. And probably can't read it, but it is a, a metallic, uh, like a foil rucking cotton sticker. So that's pretty rad. But yeah, so they did a an official collab with um, one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And that is, Night of the Living Dead. So take a look at these, so sick. Really, really cool print. A rad like purple print on a pair of uh, like jogger style sweats. Super stoked to get these because I can lounge around in them all day and um, can never have too many pairs of sweats and never have too many uh, pieces of Rucking Foughton merch, if you're me, because I probably have like 
15 of their shirts. So it never ends with that. All right, and last but not least, so I started to get into collecting more than just pops when it comes to vinyl. And uh, this was the natural next step in uh, collecting vinyl figures. So this is something that a lot of people have been pushing me to do for a while now. And I'm finally doing it. These are wrapped up really well. So shout out to the person I bought these from. I bought some tiny ghosts. Yes. Um, man, these are so sick. Even the box and everything, the packaging is really rad. So I got this one, which is the gumdrop. Let's open this one up real quick. These ones, I don't think I'm gonna be keeping in box. These ones are gonna be out of box vibes forever. So sick. Oh man, this thing is rad. Oh, so cool. These are made by Bim Toy. Um, Reese O'Brien is the designer and he also uh, works at Funko. Man, these things are so sick. Uh, shout out to all my friends I've been talking to about this lately. Uh, Gary and Madeline started collecting these along with me and um, I've also been talking to Derping with Derek and Weird Flex and all those people about it, uh, CS Miller. He's been talking to me about super plastic and things like that, so pretty, pretty cool. Man, this thing is so sick. Oh, I love it. That glitter, look at that shine. Mmm, pretty. All right, so that's one of two. Let's set that one aside for now. And here's the second one. Mm. This one is the Satan's X-Ray. So cool. Let's crack this baby open so we can check it out also. Uh, I didn't realize that the ones I was buying were sealed. I thought that I was getting some that were open, which makes me feel even better about the price I paid. So, I mean, I thought that I got a pretty good deal. Um, but even more so now, knowing that they're sealed. Oh, these are so cool. I'm really excited that I decided to uh, venture into this. So sick. Satan's X-Ray. This thing is badass. Look at that. Mm. So yeah, this is the beginning of uh, the, my Tiny Ghost collection. So I'm sure I'll be picking up more and more as time goes on. Very excited about these. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, do me a favor, comment down below if you collect Tiny Ghosts and let me know what your favorite Tiny Ghost is and let me know which one you think I should get next to add to the collection. Uh, as always, follow me on Instagram at Left Coast Pops. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash leftcoastpops and follow my awesome wife at twitch.tv slash gothposh. Make sure you support my friends in the Funko Collector Society at Funko Collector Society on Instagram and we will see you guys in the next video for lots of good times. Make sure you guys are staying home and staying safe. Enjoy all this cool stuff that you own because clearly you own cool stuff if you're watching these videos. So we'll see you all next time and stay safe. Peace!